the iPhone 4S. The first iPhone released after Steve Jobs' death, and the last iPhone to have a 3.5 inch screen, and no 4G. Now, I know what you're thinking. Saying a 12-year-old phone is the best of its kind is very ballsy. And you'd be right. So, why am I making such a bold claim? Obviously, it doesn't support the newest apps and software, nor is it the fastest, but for what it is, it's amazing. Firstly, the most notable feature of the iPhone 4S is its minuscule size relative to the newer iPhones. Its screen is 3.5 inches diagonally. Compare that to my phone, or even the iPhone 11. Now of course, this embiggening of the phones isn't unique to Apple, as all other phone manufacturers did the exact same thing. But to be honest, I believe most people would prefer having a smaller phone, as not only is it so much easier to use with one hand, but it fits excellently in your pocket. I actually did take this phone to school recently, and I got a quite a few people telling me that they really did miss this size of iPhones and wish that they still had it today. <laughs> what iPhones did they have? Everything past the X, really. <laughs> It's also pretty noticeable that I'm running iOS 6 on this phone, rather than iOS 9. The 4S ran excellently with iOS 6, and even brings back that nostalgia of the era of skeuomorphism. And yes, the App Store still does work, and you can download older versions of applications. Depending on how lucky you get, you may still get working versions of some apps. The design. Let's talk about the design. The 4 and the 4S have my favorite design out of all the iPhones, and relative to what was out at the time, this was revolutionary. Apple did everything right on this iPhone and made it their best design yet, and handed some of its design language down to the 5 and 5S, and by extension, the 2016 SE. Like many old iPhones, the 4S is very repairable. Unlike the other models of iPhones, which require you to take off the screen of the phone to access the internals, The iPhone 4S has a sliding glass back. It's great if you crack it, but it's terrible if you crack the front display. It only took 11 years for them to forget about it and then reintroduce this on the iPhone 14, but it's still nowhere near as easy, as far as I know. So, there's my two cents on why I personally believe the iPhone 4S is the best iPhone. I honestly wish I could daily drive this phone, but unfortunately I live in a country where 3G and 2G are no longer operational. Thanks for watching.